And now to our lab, where we're putting our bodies to the test to show you how your body works. <laughs> ah, that really hurts. Just don't try any of this at home. Today, we're looking at the voice. When you're young, your vocal cords are short and thin, so your voice is high-pitched. When you get older, they get longer and thicker, so your voice gets deeper. And when you whisper, you don't vibrate your vocal cords at all. Shh. But what do vocal cords look like and how do they work? Well, this nifty medical gadget is going to show you. This is a nasendoscope. It's a very small camera. Then I'm going to put up my nose and look at my vocal cords. The best way for doctors like us to access the vocal cords is through the nose, because if the camera went via the mouth, the patient would start to gag and feel sick. So feel your throat. You'll feel a hard, gristly bit at the front. That's your voice box or your larynx, and that's where your vocal cords sit. I can see the camera really well at the back of your mouth. It's very weird. It is like there's a little spaceship exploring the inside of your mouth. And Chris's tongue looks a bit alien too, but let's keep going. So, Chris, now put it down to the back of your throat and show us your vocal cords. OK, that's lovely. So we're now going past the back of Chris's th Oh, that's really good. There, there, there. What we can see now is Chris's vocal cords. It looks like flaps or webs going across his windpipe. What happens is, as your lungs force air up your windpipe, these flaps start to vibrate, and it's the vibration that causes noise. So let's see them in action. So, Chris, can you hum a high note? Now hum a low note. So when Chris hums a high note, what you see is the vocal cords tightening. That means they vibrate faster and make a higher note. And when he hums a low note, the vocal cords relax. And they're much floppier, they vibrate more slowly, and you get a lower note. Have a go at feeling the vibrations of your own vocal cords by putting your fingers on the front of your throat and humming a note. So, we've shown how the sound of your voice changes depending on the speed your vocal cords are vibrating. Now we're going to try breathing in two different gases that will change the speed at which our vocal cords vibrate and show you the effect it has on our voices. This gas is lighter than air. This will make it easier for my vocal cords to move, meaning they'll vibrate faster. So will my voice sound different? My voice does sound different, and that's because this gas is thinner or less dense. So it allows my vocal cords to vibrate more quickly, and that makes the pitch higher. Chris's gas is thicker than air, so it'll be harder for his vocal cords to move, meaning they'll vibrate slower. This gas is thicker or denser than air, and that means my vocal cords can't vibrate as easily, which is why my voice sounds deeper. You sound ridiculous. Pipe down, Squeaky. <laughs> The vocal cords work by vibrating, and the sound that we make when we talk is all down to the speed they're moving. The faster they go, the higher pitch sound we make, and the slower they go, the lower our voices become. <laughs>